What's good YouTube? It's your boy bro back in another video. Today I got four reasons why you get lonely when you're chasing your purpose and why it's okay. Alright, so stay tuned and check it out. Also, leave your goals in the comment section. I want to get to know y'all. I want to know what goals you're chasing, what's your vision, what's your purpose in life, what wakes you up in the morning, all that. So let me know. Peace. So I'm dropping the dopest t-shirts on September 3rd, 2022, all right? This is what they look like, make money, not excuses. I got the white in winter green, <laughs> and I got the yellow in winter green, all right? I dropped these originally in 2017, but people was on my head about dropping them again, so I'm dropping them again this Saturday, all right? So go ahead and cop. They'll be on the website, 86visions.com backslash shop, all right? Go to our store, shop them, shop some hoodies. Um, we got digital products on there as well. So yeah, just check in, clock in with us. You know what I mean? Check it out. Peace. Before we even start anything, I just want to say thank y'all for the support, man. Y'all really been subscribing. We up to 44 subs. Look, I get it. That ain't shit to a lot of y'all, but to me, that shit means a lot. Y'all don't have to check out the videos. Y'all don't have to subscribe or give me your energy, but y'all do. And I truly appreciate it. So thank you guys for checking out the channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you ain't subscribed, hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe button. You feel me? Join the team. We looking forward to having you. All right, let's get started. So this topic was on my heart the other day, man. I was driving back from the gym. It was like 1130 at night. I had just got done doing like an hour of cardio. I burned a thousand calories that day. Shout out to me. But it was on my mind because I was feeling alone at that point. It hit me. Maybe someone needed to hear it. So it's okay for you to feel alone. It's okay for you to be lonely at times. It's okay for you to miss out on things, for you to, you know, kind of feel separated from the pack i guess you would say um kind of feel like uh, you don't fit in all that because you don't uh, you're working on something that's bigger than what most people can conceive you know you're seeing it through your mind you're, you're visualizing it you're working on your goals you're working on your brand you're building this thing step by step brick by brick i built this shit me brick by brick people don't understand you people might think you crazy people might think you're a weirdo all these things i've been through all of it but it's necessary because this is a part of the steps when i used to work on my clothing brand back in the day man i told you guys i would work sometimes 16 hour days i was missing out on so much stuff i but even when i was present there even when i would go to functions or you know go see family like i would always be thinking about my next move what i need to be doing oh man i'm missing out on this i'm missing out on that but like when i'm present i'm not enjoying it like i want to be working i want to be grinding on my goals then when i went through my divorce i locked in i went monk mode for two years guys i don't know if i've ever said that on this channel but i went monk mode for two years i didn't do shit for two years i locked in because i really 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 wanted to build my brand you know i wanted to work for myself that was my only goal at that time like yeah i wanted to make a certain amount of money those are like minor goals or whatever but my, my main goal was to become my own boss so I locked in, guys, and that's what helped me. I think every guy, every man should should go through a monk mode period where they're just not focused on women and not focused on anything else but their goals. You know, getting their life situated, getting their their goals situated, building these brands or whatever your your visions or your whatever it is you want to do. Reason number one: more time to think, plan, and execute. For me, when I go into monk mode, it's grind season. It's grind mode, like. I'm locked in. It's like playing in the NBA Finals. You know what I mean? Like, it's time to at least try to get these goals out the way. Try to advance in my career. And sometimes I don't. I don't achieve my goals. Sometimes I, I surpass them. Sometimes I fall short. It's the lesson in the time that I spent working on them. It's the. It's the. The things that I learned about myself going on that path. It's. It's the things that try to distract me from doing it. When I got time to sit there and I got time to plan and execute my goals, I feel so much better about myself. I feel so much better about my future because I know I gave that shit everything I had. <laughs> everything I had. Whether, it win, whether I win, lose, or fall short, I always learn. I always take something with me. And I'm always advancing. And that's just because like, I'm taking myself out the game. I'm taking myself you know, off the court at times, and so I can watch the game. Like, oh, okay. I'm It's like watching game film. You know what I mean? As far as playing sports, if you watching game film, you say, okay, I messed up over here. I messed up over there. Damn. 
well, what would happen if I went this way? You know what I mean? Let me try that next time. Let me go left. Let me hit him with a crossover and go right and pull up and jump it. Instead of going all the way to the cup and getting it blocked, let me pull up and shoot a mid-range and see what happens. And you might win. You might make that mid-range. Or you might miss it. Or you might have to pass it. And the defense that made an adjustment. You know, anything like that, guys. Take time to step away from everything, whether it be women, bad habits as far as like bad eating, bad thinking, negative thinking, negative self-talk, change your habits. Take time away from everything so you can think, plan, and execute on your goals. Reason number two, self-reflection. All right, I'm gonna be brutally honest with this one. This is my favorite thing to do, <laughs> okay? I am my biggest fan. I've learned how to become my biggest fan, but for a long time, I was my own, my own worst enemy. I was um, my worst critic. I would attack myself at all, at all angles just because I wanted perfection from an imperfect person. So when I got divorced, it kind of hit me off guard. I had to sleep on an air mattress for a year straight, right? No furniture in the crib. The only goal was to become my own boss. I made a ton of sacrifices, but you know what the main sacrifice was? I looked in the mirror and I was 60 pounds overweight. I was 260. I'm going to show you a picture. Like, I was humongous, right? And I was like, look at all the women you would want to attract. Would any of them want to sleep with you? <laughs> the answer was no. <laughs> so I was like, it's time for me to get on my grind. I got to get my shit back. So I lost 60 pounds in 2019 all the way to 2020. I wrote down a list of, like, things that would make me feel like I was my best version right self-reflection is truly truly important just because you got to be honest with yourself don't like destroy your own confidence like i used to but find things that you need to work on and then build on those habits and then build on those goals work on them daily figure out things that you hate about yourself and turn them into strength learn to love it like when people make fun of my height i don't give a fuck i, I never cared who cares i can't control it it is what it is if i was six eight I'd be 6'8". I'm 5'8". I can't control it, <laughs> okay? I don't care. Like, be able to laugh at yourself. Be able to love those parts of yourself that you can't change. That was truly important for me. I had to find pieces of myself that, that had been hidden, that I had to I had to love them, you know? And it, it was hard. Cause looking in that mirror when you 260 and you out of shape and you sloppy, <laughs> it's tough. Especially when you broke. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was tough, but I had to... I had affirmations I would tell myself every day. You're doing good. Keep going. I'm proud of you. I love you. I'm proud of the person you're becoming. I'm proud of the person you've overcame. All of those things, they I would say them in the mirror and I would just look myself directly in my soul until I believed it. So y'all need to try that. Try affirmations. If you've never done it, try it. Reason number three, less distractions. Look, when you ain't got no money, you ain't got no car, you don't have a place to stay, you don't have anything going for yourself, you need to lock in. Find purpose in what you're working on. Find purpose in working on yourself. Find purpose in working on your goals. That way, you attract better. When you're working on yourself, when you're working on bringing your vision to life, you attract more people, more quality people. It's easy to get distracted in today's world, but when you're locked in on your goals, it's, it's harder for you to become distracted because you know what the end game is. You know what you want to accomplish. These don't have to be entire periods of your life. They can be three months, six months, nine months, a year span of your life, if depending on how bad, how down bad you are, right? So think about why you're being distracted and what you can cut out while you're being, while you're working on your goals. Because coming from me, I've I've have been down bad. I've, I've had to start over. I've had to start from scratch multiple times. And every time I do that, something in me is like, you need to shut off everything, everybody. I don't care who it is. If it's not helping you, that shit need to go. If they can't understand that, that you need to focus on bringing your visions to life, it needs to go. <laughs> okay. While you out here kicking it with these women or these men and you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing, it's somebody out there that's on their shit. Yes, it's okay to get out the house and not drive yourself crazy, not be a prisoner of your own life, but understand that you need to prioritize because if you don't, you won't end up where you want to be and you're going to just end up hating yourself because you didn't do what you said you were going to do. When you break promises with yourself, it only destroys your self-esteem. I know I've done it 
I hated it. <laughs> I was mad at myself. <laughs> okay. Downside of less distractions is you don't have anything to take your mind off of. Relax. Somebody like me, I'm an extremist on accident. Like I don't do it on purpose, but when I want when I want something, I want that shit. I have there's no in between for me. I'm willing to lock in and, and risk everything for it. So with that, I do get those moments where I'm like, damn, I'm bored. Like I've done all my work that I want to do. I, I don't have the mental capacity right now to create. I don't have like something's going on. I can't think of a design. I can't think of a video to make. So that's one of the downsides to um, having less distractions because you, you don't have shit to do. And when you're bored or, you know, and you know you're in monk mode, you know you need to be locked in on your goals. You know all of these things, but still, <laughs> it happens. But in those moments, Get out the fucking house. Go go do something. You know, you, you'll you know when you've earned those moments of freedom. Like, man, I just need to get out and I just go do something. Like, for me, I'll go for a walk. I'll go get me some dinner. I'll go to a bar and just eat and kind of just mingle amongst people. But then I know I got to get back to my shit. I got to get back on my shit the very next day or the, that same day or whatever. I got to get back to my grind. But it's okay if you feel distracted. So you are human at the end of the day. Reason number four, you're headed towards your dream life. Now, when you're headed towards your dream life, everything is not always roses. Everything is not always amazing. You're going to go through these these lows, these ups, these downs. You, know, you have to forgive yourself for making mistakes. You have to... Forgive yourself for probably spazzing out every now and again. <laughs> you don't have to forgive yourself for a lot of things, but all of this is helping push you towards your goals and push you towards the vision that you have for yourself. Keep in your mind that, hey, I'm headed towards my dream life. I'm headed towards this big house that I want or this nice car. There's nothing wrong with wanting nice things for your life. The greed is the problem, okay? <laughs> greed, when you start getting greedy, that's the issue, but Wanting nice things for your life, there's nothing wrong with that. Give yourself permission to want nice things. That's just a little gem. But when you're working on your dream life, things are gonna happen. You know, you're gonna get lonely. You're gonna go through ups and downs, like I said. But also, you're gonna find things in your life that's gonna push you towards it. For me, lately, posted a video, I gained three subs overnight. Again, to somebody, that's nothing. To me, that's the whole entire world. I felt like I won the lottery. I woke up, had a thousand views on the video. I was like, damn, <laughs> I got three three more subs, man, 44. Damn, that's crazy. Cause my goal is to grow this channel. My goal is to dream. I dream about having 500K one day. If I get there, I'm gonna get there. If I don't, I know I busted my ass to get there. Also, when you're headed towards your dream goals, people are gonna fall off because they don't match the vibration that you're on. They don't match your life anymore or where your life is headed. That's not a bad thing. People sometimes just fall off because they're on their own path. People fall off because in order to elevate, you gotta separate. And I don't mean go around cutting people off, being rude or whatever. People will naturally just start to fall off your life. They will naturally just, because they're not on the same thing. They can't even talk to you about shit. Like you, you have nothing in common at times because you are focused on your goals. You're focused on building this dream life that you got for yourself. And they may or may not do that. Like I had a family member, we were really close. And we always talked about going into business together for like eight years. When I had my epiphany, I was like, man, I'm about to start this brand, but I'm gonna go to my cousin to see if he wanna join me. Went to my cousin, I was like, man, I'm about to start this clothing brand. You know, we're gonna do pre-orders, so it's not gonna be no money coming out of our pockets. You know, max, it'll be $100, but that's nothing. We can split it 50-50. He was like, nah, man, like, I don't want to take that risk. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. I was like, oh, damn. Like, we always talked about going into business together. Like, you got these ideas you be talking about, all this other shit. And he was like, nah, man, I ain't fucking with it. I was like, all right, bet. It crushed me at that point. I'm not going to lie to you. It crushed my soul. Here's why. I didn't have confidence that I could do anything on my own at that point. But I was like, I got to do it. Like, I got to at least try. I can't be like them. You know, they sit around, they smoke weed all day, they drink all day, they don't really have no goals. They work in the same job they've been working at. You know, these people have been working the same job for like eight years and never got a raise, ever. Never got a raise, same $12 an hour from the time they started to the time they got fired. Never, no bonuses, no nothing. That shit is crazy to me. <laughs> like to me, I was like, hell no, I, no. Like, even when I first started, I was like, man, that's that's a blessing to get that money to be able to pay your bills. But 
Like, bro, you giving them so much time in your life and you not advancing at all. Elevation requires separation. People are gonna fall off. It's not on purpose. Don't go around cutting them off, but it's just gonna happen. You can't always control what other people are doing. You can't control what they're doing. You can only control what you got going on. And to me, when people fall off and we don't kick it no more because we're not on the same shit, that's a positive to me because it lets me know I'm about to attract people that are on the same thing. They're going to wherever they going, to kick it with whoever they need to kick it with, to be on the same shit that they on, and I'm going somewhere where my people are at, my soul tribe. So I hope this message reaches the right person. I hope you got some game from this video. It truly was off the cuff. I didn't have no script. I was just going in because I felt like talking about it when I was leaving the gym the other night. I had a lot of ideas in my mind and this one just stayed on my head so hope you guys liked the video if you did get something from it like comment subscribe share it with a family member or a friend i will see y'all next week with more videos peace